Today's video is going to start a week-long journey that I'm going to take you guys with. So a lot of you know, and if you haven't, I will link video, the whole playlist below. I've been on a weight loss journey since the beginning of 2018. I've lost 55 pounds. I've gained and lost a couple here and there, but I've pretty much kept the 55 pounds off. But I hit a rock and I stopped. And you guys know I've posted videos on dealing with that and trying to boost myself. But it has been a battle. And I try to always be honest with you guys. I always want you guys to see the real me and know that I am in it with you guys. I am no amazing woman who's you know done this amazing thing. I am fighting it daily. I wanted to try a little experiment. So if you don't know, I am on Weight Watchers or WW Wins. I am on the purple plan. So if you don't know Weight Watchers, it's got three different plans and they are color coded and I'm on the purple one. I get 300 free point foods, but I only get 16 points throughout each day to spend. And then I get, I think 32 extra points that I can kind of intersperse throughout the week. So I need to break some bad habits that I have made. Some eating after dinner kind of bad habits, too much coffee bad habits, because I like creamer, even though I do half and half, that's fat free, it still adds points. So here's my experiment. And I will tell you, I am not looking forward to this. You but I am going to eat only one day's worth of points for the entire week. I'm scared. <laughs> Not really. I'm nervous, I should say. I have to have coffee. Coffee is life to me, and so that would just kill me to not have coffee. One cup of coffee for me is one point because I take four tablespoons of, yes, I know it's a lot, but that's how I like my coffee. Four tablespoons of fat-free half and half in my coffee is one point. So I usually drink about three cups a day. I One really early. I get up very early, like 4.30 in the morning. So I have one then. I have one at work, and then I have one after work. So it's not all one time. But I can't do that because that's a lot of points. So I'm going to allot myself one, and that's going to be the early morning one because that's what gets me out of bed is the thought that I can go down and have a cup of coffee. So... That's seven points right there. So I only have nine more to play with for the entire week. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. Okay, so my husband's on board with this and he is on board to cook extremely zero points or just like a smission of points in there. It, it, we're gonna try to go zero points. And I am going to see how I do. I'm gonna weigh myself tomorrow morning and I'll weigh myself the next Monday. And I'm gonna take you guys along with this journey. I will tell you exactly what I eat, every single morsel, and we'll see if I'm able to do it. So when we come back, it will be me on the journey tomorrow morning. It's the longest intro known to man. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to having the rest of this day and I've just had my only cup of coffee. I'm kind of in coffee regret right now. <laughs> Doug did salmon on the grill and I already had some steamed vegetables. Zero points, I already ate those. And I'm waiting for brown rice to get done. It's almost done. So zero point. This is what the beginning of the morning looks like. This is all prepped for my eggs and asparagus. And then I always have fruit that I need to cut up. I have always take three fruits, one for the breakfast, one for lunch, and one for a snack in between. And eggs, all that's eggs. And then this is a snack or a part of lunch, some kind of cut up vegetable. And then I'll also grab one of my lunches out of the freezer. For my egg prep, I always do some kind of probably asparagus and spinach if I have it. I try to get some greens in there, some onion and turkey pepperoni. If you do three of these, three of these, I guess mini ones, 
three of them is zero points, amazingly enough, but it, it is. So I've been using that up and then I also have some frozen ham that I will use. One of my tricks is to cut things really, really small because it's not about having the actual food, it's about flavoring everything. And so if I have really tiny, it's going to disperse around the whole entire egg and it makes it taste better. I'm so excited. I already know what we're having for dinner and I've only had one point for this morning's coffee and guess what I get to have right now? I'm so excited. Yay, it's warming up. Come on coffee, let's go. Yay! Now if you're watching this video much later than this, you need to know that during this week was the beginning of the, well it wasn't the beginning, it was right before we are possibly, I'm not even sure at the filming of this video, going into a required quarantine because of COVID-19. So I work at a school and this day I am filming is the first day of not working. Our school has been closed. I have, well, I'm working, I'm working from home actually. So that you need to know that during this week was an extremely stressful week as far as outside factors in the world and it's being affected by everybody and stress is absolutely a factor when trying to lose weight. So going into this week, I you know, was so optimistic and as the week kept going, I thought, oh my word, I am stressed. I'm not panicked, but I'm stressed, of course, listening to the news and I decided to limit that one makes you stressed and that makes you hold on to fat much more. So I tried to relieve some stress and be lighthearted about the information coming at me all the time. So I knew I could be healthy doing this. I wasn't doing something drastic that was detrimental to my health. So this was very scary going into it. Not very scary. I shouldn't say scary. It was more I was, I was more worried that I would give into it, but having you guys along with me on my Instagram was really motivational because I knew I could not give in and then look at you guys in the face and say, I gave in. So what did I eat every day? Three days I had turkey meatballs. Now I've changed up my turkey meatballs. If you guys have seen me before, if you've watched some of my videos, you know that my turkey meatballs used to be about six points for one serving. When you're only giving 16 in a day, you really need to be careful. So I try to do zero most of the time. So I have gotten my meatballs down to one point. Three days, because I had made a batch of this, I made turkey meatballs and that was three of my days. Two days were turkey chili and I made, one day was over brown rice and one day was over a potato. Yes, brown rice and potatoes are zero points on the purple plan. So that's all zero. Another day I made my lemon chicken. You guys already know that recipe. And then I had made a big batch of, of chicken soup. I made my own bone broth in my Instant Pot and I made that up so that was a really good rich broth and I added to it obviously chicken. Potatoes are in it and then vegetables and that's it. So that's zero points. So those were the seven days of lunches. I always had fruit with it and usually cut vegetables as well. So this is what we made. Salmon on the grill with brown rice, zero points. Grilled chicken was one day. Roaster chicken was another day. Chicken parm. Now you would think this would be points, but it's not. It's just chicken breast with my zero point marinara. I used no cheese. He put cheese on the family side, but I didn't use any of the cheese. The only thing that could have added points was he put a light dusting, and when I say light, it was light, of chick of breadcrumbs. And so I didn't even know how to count it. I don't think it would even count because it literally was crumbs. I don't know. <laughs> it was so light. I made the chicken soup. The first time I ate it was at that, and then I made it for lunch. I ate it for lunch. So the chicken soup that I had made. One day I had more ch turkey chili over a potato, and I'm gonna get back to that in a second. And because there is something I have to tell you about that. And I always would add a fruit and veggies with it. Usually steamed veggies, um, you know, cut up steamed veggies or fresh veggies. 
and I usually drink water with my meals. If I had a snack, it was always a piece of fruit or cut up vegetables, or one thing that really helped me was I, I get the munchies. I get the munchies like around, well, I get the munchies after dinner. It's like I ate dinner and then I just need to eat more. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Some of that, the reason why I think I need, felt like I needed to eat more was because the rest of my family loves to then get ice cream after dinner or Cheez-Its after dinner or... So I come down after dinner and this is what I see. My husband decided to make brownies. I'm like, no, are you kidding me? The smell in this house is amazing. But I am happy to say I did not eat any of this. This has not been touched by Bobby Copy. <laughs> I ate blueberries instead. So instead of eating what I usually do, and I'll get to that in a second, I decided to try this new thing that I had purchased on Amazon, and it works like a charm. I love popcorn. Love popcorn love popcorn and I usually cook it on the pot, on the stovetop in oil so tasty because I add butter to it and salt and it's just so I needed to come up with a way of making it less points in fact zero points because on purple plan air popped popcorn is zero points but the thing is I did not want to buy an air popper so I found this collapsible popper. It's wonderful. It's completely rubber. You add the popcorn in the bottom and you put the lid on it just lightly and it rises as you cook it and you put it in the microwave and you just let it go for three, four minutes, five minutes, I don't know, until it stops popping. And it, no. Do I love it as much as my pan fried popcorn? Of course not. In no way, shape or form do I like it as much. But did it do? Yes, it gave me a salty crunch. And what I did is I spritzed, I can't believe it's not butter on top of it. And it gave me a little bit of that buttery taste, but it gave me salty, crunchy, tiny bit of butter. It just, it made it so I could get through. I will link the air popper, it's not an air popper, microwave popper below the one I bought because it, it's wonderful. And I love that it doesn't take up a lot of room in my kitchen. I think it's important to say that I never felt hungry through this whole thing. I never did I, because I'm eating really good food throughout this entire thing. I, I ate real food. I didn't eat packaged food. I ate real food. Now, the most unreal food I ate was, I think the I can't believe it's not butter spray. <laughs> that would be the most unreal thing I ate. Okay, Splenda in my coffee. But Okay, maybe the half and half was not real. Well, it's real. I don't know how they get it, but desperate times, people. We are, we are not getting rid of that. It is a savior to me. One of the other tricks I told you guys before is I brushed my teeth. Sometimes just getting that taste out of my mouth and having it fresh just makes me not want to eat. Okay, so how many points did I eat? That's a loaded question. This is where there was some stupid mistakes I made. So if technically, and I'll explain why, I ate 30 points. 30, I'll explain why. What I really thought I ate was exactly 16. Here's my stupid mistakes. And I did one on Friday, so I started on Monday. I was wonderful. Friday, I made a stupid mistake, and last night, the last day of this, I made another stupid mistake. And they were truly mistakes, was not intentional, and I could kick myself. The quarantine was happening, we were grocery shopping, I don't know, I just did not think. And I thought, pears in their own juice are zero points, because it's just pears. So I read, this, I bought this, Dole, 100% juice, I read, diced pears, 100% fruit juice. That's what it is. All natural fruit, but it's 100% fruit juice. But what I failed to do is to look at the ingredients. 
and I failed to scan this. And so I ate not one, but two as a snack. I was still hungry on a Friday evening. I ate two. And literally, as I'm eating the second one, it's the last bit of it, I went, this seems like syrupy more <laughs> than normal. And it literally crossed my mind, Bobby, you never scanned this. Is, it, is there sugar added? And I went and scanned it, and there are four points per one canister. So I ate eight extra points that day. I was sick to my stomach, not literally, but I felt sick. <laughs> mad at myself. I was like, oh, Bobby, that's such a rookie mistake. I was so mad at myself, but it happened. The second, oh, here's what I should have looked for is this. This is diced pears, no sugar added. That is key, people. This I scanned, zero points. And I like them just, in fact, I like them better. So I'm like, oh, this is what I thought I was buying. This is not what I bought. The second mistake I did was last night, my family, if you follow me on Instagram, knows, you know this happened. They bought a pizza. I'm dying, people. This is what my family brings home for dinner. And I have only two points left. Two points would be this edge. <laughs> I was on this journey and I was not gonna give in. So I'm, Doug's like, you don't want any of them? I'm like, no, I'm not eating that. I'm gonna eat something from the freezer. So I grabbed some chili and I, I put a baked potato or put a potato in the microwave and got it all warmed and baked. And I put it in and I literally ate almost, I got this out of our freezer, I ate almost the entire thing. And I was feeling good about myself. I was like, you know, I did it. It's Sunday night and I, I literally, I had a cup of coffee right before that. So I had had some extra cups of coffee in there, knowing I had some extra points because I wasn't up to 16. And then I realized it. Oh, I was like, this literally, I'm on my last bite. And this is when I realized it. This is not turkey. This is my husband's ground beef chili. And I don't know why it didn't occur to me when I ate, when I did it, I was like, Bobby, this is not turkey. So I figured out that it was probably about six ounces. It was a decent amount of chili, which is nine points, nine people. So I ate 30 points, 30 technically. I just had to just let it go, let it go, let it go. I did not technically do what I set out to do, but it wasn't intentional. But let me show you results. What were my results? I could not wait to wake up this morning. I'm filming on Monday morning. It is, what day is this? The 16th, March 16th, Monday morning. And I weighed myself. And, drum roll please. I lost five pounds. So I'm actually, ecstatic about five pounds because I'm telling you, I was losing a half a pound one day and gaining a pound the next, I mean, not day, one week and a gaining a pound the next week. It just kept doing that back and forth, back and forth. So it was very frustrating. So for me to lose five pounds in one week was, I, I'm ecstatic about that. So what am I going to do going forward? Here's one big change I'm going to make. First of all, I'm getting rid of the third cup of coffee, even though it's only one point. I mean, if I'm really, really dying to have it and I've got points left in a day, then okay, I will. But I'm not gonna do it continually. I don't think I need to do that. The other change I'm going to make. In the evening, I get those munchies. And so I'm either going to try to do popcorn, but one of the things I used to do was this. I would take, I would get these veggie straws. I tell you, this is crack to me. <laughs> Just like, I cannot stay away from these. And the problem is I was taking the bag with me to the chair where we're sitting and watching TV. And I would just sit there and munch, thinking to myself, well, at least it's veggie straws. Well, one ounce of these is still four points. One ounce. And one ounce is not that many. I mean, it's a good amount for enough. 
So I am committing myself to putting it in a bowl and putting this away and limiting that. And only if I've got the points available to me. If I don't have the points available to me, I'll have the popcorn. And that way I am eating just a crunchy something and I'm, I can get through the night. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. So this has been a long video, but I wanted to share with you guys all the things around it. I am thrilled with it. I am excited to keep going. I want my weight loss to keep going. And I want to hear what you guys are doing. So tell me, put below those comments. You guys know that when you're over 50, it's a struggle. And I think anything that you can do to keep that momentum going is so important. So I want to hear your struggles as well. So if you haven't subscribed, consider doing that. I do videos for women over 50 in all different subjects, but it's all very much geared towards women over 50. So if you are that, I encourage you to subscribe and you may subscribe if you're not that too. I will not object to that. So I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.